Hello world, it's Lee Kelson coming to you live again from Hong Kong Fintech Week and I have with me Rachel Cott from Ascent Vision. How are you Rachel? Hi, I'm very fine. How are you Lee? I'm, I'm very nervous Rachel because you just told me that you do media training and now I feel under pressure. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I said, we're all on a growth mindset and we can always do better every time. A absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so Rachel, you've been here for a couple of days. You've got, have you got a stand here? Uh, we're, we're actually helping a lot of um, uh, startup companies and speakers, so we are going around the booth. Right, okay. Yeah. And so tell us Ascent Vision, what, what, what is it that you do? Uh, uh, we have a big vision. Uh, we hope to be able to bring the leaders onto the global stage um, by helping them to communicate better, by helping them to innovate better. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. so we do a lot of trainings and consulting work with them. Right. And have you been working with the speakers in the speakers lounge behind us here? Yeah, yeah we do, we do. Actually we had a great um, announcement today with uh, PwC, uh, not us, uh, we are helping the PwC with uh, yes. uh, Loop Nest. They had a, uh, a big signing ceremony, they, they were working together uh, to accelerate many blockchain companies in Hong Kong. Yep. Uh, so we are helping them to, uh, uh, with the signing today. Yes, and they booted, booted us out of the media lounge so that they could go in to do I this. Know, I know, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's fantastic. So <laughs> early stage companies, uh, young founders, uh, a lot of our audience are, is a youth founder, startup sort of audience. Um, what's the piece of advice that you give them if they're going to do presentations and speaking? Yeah. Um, the very first thing they need to do is to find out what is it that really bring them um, to start up. What is the purpose and driving force for them? Uh, once they have that, it's called the hedgehog uh, theory, which combines the passion, their talent, and the value together. They find the center point and continue to do what they need to do, um, and that will really bring them to a destination faster. Right. And so is that through through the communication that you find that center point? Is that are you saying that that passion that's how you become a better communicator to find those three things together? Oh, that takes a lot of uh, inner search. Yeah. Right. So executive coaching is something that we also do as well. Right. Um, the startup row is so fast, uh, so long, and uh, you need a lot of perseverance for it. And having that purpose within yourself, that will give you the strength um, uh, to, to go a long way. And along the way, we provide the training they need to help them to be better communicator, better innovator. And uh, so we are like a pit stop for them. And at the same time, we provide the core, we provide the um, executive coaching so that they can find their inner strength along, um, along the way. So uh, one of the things that's very close to my heart is that we, we see a lot of the founders and a lot of startups around the world, uh, everyone's encouraging everyone to become a startup. Um, yeah. I've, I've been an entrepreneur for 30 years, <laughs> so I've been through the ups and downs over that yeah. period of time, uh, but it takes a toll on your mental health as well. Absolutely. And I get concerned that sometimes we're encouraging people to come in to the startup world that perhaps aren't prepared mentally for that. What's your thoughts on that? Oh yeah, um, in terms of mental strength, that is the part that entrepreneurs, personally I find, they need it the most. Yeah. And um, so I would highly recommend anyone uh, who are about to go into entrepreneurship, uh, they should have at least one mentor yeah. and a partner. Right, mentor is to help them to, to, uh, to go less route, distant route, yeah, yeah. right? And the partner is to help them, uh, is to help them, uh, how do I say that? Um, to help them to give a, a milestone, you know, it's like yes. giving them a pull to say, hey, the destination is just there. Yes. You know, let's just go one mile, one, one mile more, and then we will get there. Yeah. And along the way, they can give them, themselves uh, the strength and finding the right partner can get you to the success with a yeah. higher chance. And, and I think that, that that's a good point, that mentors have been down the path, they've made the mistakes. So one of my mentors used to have a, a, one of his favourite sayings was, uh, when I'd say, oh, but I've tried everything, he said, you've tried everything that you know, you haven't tried everything that I know. No, 
oh, that's good, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's the innovation, and you build on top of each other, and then you build a great company, and yeah. then you do the uh, iteration, what we do in Agile and Lean, you yeah. know, fast iterations, yeah. and you give better services and better products at and, the end. And, and, and you work it out, that's exactly Absolutely. right. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Rachel, thank you very much for talking with us. So if people thank want to you. find out more, they can go to Ascent Vision website. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, please do come visit us. We are uh, Ascent Vision. We bring people onto the global stage. <laughs> well done. Thank you, thank Rachel. You. It's been a pleasure. All thank right. you.